What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the wall. Let's get straight into it. So done with guys. And why would that be? So he asked me what's wrong, and I said, I'm fine. You wonder what he said? I would be willing to bet I already know the answer to that question, as most likely does everyone else. He was like, all right, cool. He said, okay, good. Who here is surprised? These women are so childish, bruh. Stupid. Want us to be fishing? Honey, I don't have a rod on me. Shots fired! I mean, <laughs> Shots fired! <laughs> I mean, I might have one, but you guys know. But he said that. What do you mean, okay? Good. What? Chill, part dude. of I'm fine means that I'm fine. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> Please take the following into consideration. 99 times out of 100, if a guy is told by a woman that she's doing fine, he's going to believe her. Or else he's going to assume that she doesn't want to talk about it since she said she was doing fine. Why press the issue? Guys tend to take things at face value. If you wanted him to ask about how you were feeling or argue with you that you're not doing fine, just be honest. Tell him you're not doing well. That's yeah, a hard concept Don't for him. Don't play games. Don't expect him to be a mind reader. Just tell him what you're actually feeling. Uh, that's too it's easy, not really Lady that Jane. hard to figure out. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. On top of that, she's talking through Lady J. So based though, bro. I love Lady J. She's great. She's absolutely fantastic. She she is incredible for this industry for this movement. What kind of world do we live in? Uh oh. Where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date. Now, I don't want to kick somebody when they're down because I don't know this girl. I don't know the guy that she's talking about. For all we know, this guy was a terrible person. But what I will say is that she goes on this rant about how a normal, regular girl cannot find somebody to date. And with that statement, I got to say, I highly, highly disagree. We could sit here and argue all day whose lives are harder, male, female. We don't know. There's really no way to prove it. The different... Really? There's no way to prove whose lives are harder. Who works more in the construction jobs? Who works more in the STEM field? Who works more in the heavy labor jobs? Men. Men have it much harder than women. Stop. This dude's a pander bear. Loki, does somebody want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. Yeah, dude, the straight up pander bear. I don't know who has it harder. Are you kidding me? Stop, dude. Obstacles a male has to go through compared to a female. They're just so different that we're never going to be able to come to an agreement on which one has a harder life. What I will say is I'm almost certain that Dumb. for an average guy, dating for an average guy is way way harder than for an average girl yes i see it and i hear it all the time Dude, this guy's just contradicting himself he's literally just like oh it's way harder for an average guy versus an average girl but i don't know who has it harder are you stupid stop you're being a panda bear quit it girl will chase an emotionally unavailable man or an obviously immature man and then blame the rest of the dating pool because they pick the worst type of dudes to pursue the reality is there's plenty of men who would be happy, more than happy, to have an average girl. Like, 100%. You are this emotionally exhausted after a breakup with a guy, and then you start blaming all guys, and no guy wants this. Then, trust me, I don't even know how to describe to you what the dating pool is like for men right now. People in general. Keep it away. Like, this guy is stupid. He's lost. Um, I, I can't even listen to his. Not. He's almost more insufferable than the women that we listen to. Goodness gracious, dude! Horrible advice. Through this, you'll see in the next video. I caught her talking to other men, and she won't get out of my car. Now she's crying. Wow. So she's a runner. She's dudes. a track star. Oh wow, that must be sad. God, that must be terrible. Oh, good for him. oh man! Kicking her out at least. What were their names again? I love how you said they were just your friends and you were sitting in the mass pictures. Get the Ooh. fuck out of my car! This is a perfect example of why when she says that these dudes are just her. Nah, man, they're never just friends, bro. It's always the on deck dudes, is what I call them, or the white knights, as we call them sometimes. They're on deck dudes because they're just waiting until she's in a vulnerable state. They're waiting until the point that they can pounce and say, you know what? I know, baby girl. I know that he's been giving you a hard time, baby, but I'm here for you. I can save you. I can be your hero, baby. So I went on a date last night and let me tell you how it went. Please so do. this guy seemed pretty okay. Um, he ticked all the boxes 
from our conversation online. He's an entrepreneur. He seemed like he knew what he was doing. He was similar age to me. And he booked this really nice Italian restaurant. I um, got there. I got there in time. He was 10 minutes late. And when he got there, he was completely flustered. He was shaking. He was sweating and he did not look anything like his profile pictures. He looked gaunt, um, really pale, like he hadn't eaten for weeks. And when I asked him if he was okay, he said he was fine. He was just um, been working 80 hours a week. I wasn't sure if he was on drugs, but I was like trying to stay cool. I was like, look, maybe I'll learn something from this. You just never know. I wasn't gonna leave the date. Um, because he did seem like an interesting person anyway so um and i don't like to be rude we were talking and doesn't he... like to be rude but is on tiktok blasting this guy <laughs> 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 well, i don't i'm rude a lot it is what it is though he was saying that he's got an eight-year-old son that he hardly sees because he has issues with the mum. Um, apparently they met each other on Tinder and they slept together. It was a one night stand and she fell pregnant. Yoink, Whatever, Scoop. not my problem. So then I asked him when his last relationship was and he said last year. And he was like, if you really want to know, she is a high class escort and that's how we met. And she was planning to stop being a high class escort, um, but she was constantly having to take drugs in the morning to wake up and drugs to go to bed at night. Oh, and they no. just had a toxic relationship. So I was like, okay, right. So, you know, me, I landed up going into the therapy mode. I was like, look, it's, you know, it's okay. You can make changes in your life. I started recommending different modalities. Um, that's typical me, and Don't I worry, ended Kate. up sending him all these links to therapists. And, you know, I did land up feeling disheartened because I was thinking to myself, oh my God, if this is the caliber of men out there at this age, it's very concerning. Um, Stupid. And it's very sad. But, you know, I guess this is dating life in this day and age. Hopefully it gets better from here. Bro, you look like the vampire from Hotel Transylvania. Shots fired! Shots fired! Keep it a buck. That's what, not what dating's like. Those are just the men that are interested in you. Okay? And it's okay. It is okay. You just don't attract men that are on that level. I'm going I'm to I'm keep it a buck, dude. She was beat at best. She's average. She's an average woman. There's nothing wrong with being average, though. Like, absolutely nothing wrong. But the thing is, she's probably going for guys that are way out of her league or going for guys that are on, in her league. And th the thing is, honey, that guy's in your league. That's why you guys went on a date. It's probably, probably why you gave him a chance. Like, come on now. And there's literally only one thing that women want you to understand, and it's this. Oh, oh just one thing? And what is that one thing? You doing something because we've asked you to do it is not the same thing as just doing the thing stupid do explain because i think there's going to be a lot of people that are confused by this so if you're the kind of guy that says to your wife or girlfriend hey baby yeah just like whatever you need me to do i'll do it like whatever cleaning you need help with just like tell me what to do i get where you're going with that i know what you think it's doing okay this so is why i say women are children dude what you can't even communicate effectively this is what adults do because here, here's the thing ladies if you were to go to your job and do this roundabout stuff like being like ambiguous with your your verbiage and what you're saying you would get fired but at home you think it's okay at work you have to speak direct at your job with your coworkers, you have to be direct take that and come home and be an effective communicator stop doing all this willy-nilly like I, I, I didn't want to have to tell you but then I had to tell you and now I'm upset and now I'm mad but you're supposed to know that when I say nothing's wrong something's wrong like, why do we why do we do this? This is why I say women are children, bro. They're asking for basic communication of that person's wants and needs. What's wrong with that? For real. But it's not doing the thing that you think it's doing. Oh, do tell us. What is it doing? Because that means your partner is still in charge of the mental load oh my God. of figuring out what needs to be done in the house. Oh my God. Yet another example of some women who just want men to miraculously know what exactly they want done without actually them articulating it into words that are easily understood. For real. 
Cocaine is a hell of a drug. It's things like this that make me realize women are. <laughs> this is why men are so fed up. Like, I'm so fed up of the dumbness of it all. Like, why would we as men want to go through all this stuff when, like, we have to go out there, bust our butts at work, compete against other men? It's just so much. It's so much extra work. Like, I don't want to have to come home and argue with somebody. What kind of world do we live in where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date because these guys don't want a real woman they want a fantasy they want narcissism is the other pandemic is that what her shirt says oh god jesus to live in this fake fantasy world they would rather jack off to some screen to some robot Rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that. You know why? What comes because with that? What a massive headache? Easier. And I am done. I'm done. Oh my god, who the hell can How many times have I told you? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Like <laughs> I am done. It, what's so funny to me is these women talk about narcissism. And like her shirt literally said, narcissism is the new pandemic or the other pandemic. But all she's talking about is me, 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 my, 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 I, I, I. Like, come on. So I got over 3,000 comments that I can't respond to. But here's my response video. And I can be a nice person. Don't get me wrong. But y'all are really provoking me. And go ahead. You're not going to you're not going to get a nice side of me if you want to provoke me. And I will check you. Oh, oh, so I'm you want to leave some nasty yeah. comments? Get ready to get checked. Oh, God. I'm Let's shaking. take a poll for all you guys that say I'm wrong. And the good guy, he's in the friend zone. And we don't know what we're talking about. It's, it's all this feminist crap. You know, women want equality. It's our fault, though. Let's take a poll. Which, by the way, you guys have had thousands of years to get it together. So I don't think it's our fault. Wait, haven't you though you too? you guys could have done something. Wait, haven't you been around the entire time? Stupid. And better, Jeez. you would have by now. Let's take a poll and see how many guys out here are actually dateable. How many of you work out? You go to the gym, you take care of yourself and what you eat. How many of you are fat slobs? Any of those? Wait, wait, wait. You're Why can't guys that are big date? I don't understand that. You're not an option. Okay. How many of you guys jack off to porn? Women don't like that. So we're not going to... Some women don't care. We're not going to be cool with that. So you're not an option either. Okay. How many of you live at home with your mommy or you have an extremely unhealthy relationship with your mommy where she tells you what to do, she, she wipes your nose and, and wipes your tears, cooks for you, cleans for you. You don't know how to do anything for yourself because you're a giant child. How many? Be honest. You know what it really sounds like? It sounds like she got hurt by a man that had all of those characteristics, and she tried to change him. She's taking this stuff pretty seriously, and she's taking this stuff very personally. It leads me to believe that she was in a relationship with a man that possessed all these qualities, which is why she's so triggered by it and why she wrote it down. She wanted to change this man. She wanted to make him a better person. I believe he has potential. I think I can make him a better man. With me, he'll become the real man he's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I say, ladies, stop falling in love with the potential of a man. A man's going to be a man. That's who he is. We're pretty simple. We don't change that much. We may make more money, may change the field that we're in, may change our haircut. But for the most part, you're going to know who a guy is when you meet him. So it seems like she got her heart broken. And now she's calling out all the qualities that this guy has because she was unsuccessful in changing him. Don't lie, because I will call you out. How many uh -oh. of you are dr getting drunk and high every weekend? <sighs> Partying it up, YOLO. YOLO. Hey, I mean, I don't party. You only live once. Actually, you live every day. You only die once, technically. Acting like there is no afterlife and judgment day. Being an atheist. Because you will come to face God one day. Okay, well, that's it's your belief. YOLO. That's your belief. How many of you are reading the Bible? And actually doing what it says. Not well, are you doing what it says? Pretending to be a Christian man. A good Christian man. Yeah, we know what you're up to. You? How many of you on your wish list is ass and tits? You want <laughs> double Ds. You don't care about morals. Double Ds is cool. 
you, don't care. you don't want emo- to deal with emotions. You Why want would I want robot. to deal with your emotions? Uh, you want a sex robot. You'll be the first one in line for the robot girlfriend. That's you. Yeah, they're only like 10 grand. How many of you are hiding behind a computer every day and playing video games for hours? And you don't approach women. How many? I don't know. How many of you are gay and you've completely <laughs> given up on women entirely? Either wait, 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 wait. So if you're gay, you've completely given up on women? What? <laughs> Like, gay dudes are out there. You're like, you know what? I've had enough of the chicks. I'm going for the dicks. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what gay dudes say, bro. <laughs> what? I hate women, or you had a really traumatic experience where you were sexualized at a young age as a man. You're right. We don't need you. I never said that we don't want you. I never said to give up on love either. I still have I mean, if, if, if we have to deal with women like you, I'd say give up on it. Good Lord. But will I take these red flags? No, I will walk away at the first red flag, and so will a lot of women. You have to do better. Start calling these women Dewey Cox because they walk alone. She's a or, runner, she's a track star. Because they're walking hard. Stop blaming us. We're tired of the internet gurus talking about what women should be doing better. No! Is that me? You're the leaders. Oh. You do better. Okay. Grow up. And get ready to get called out. If you want to leave a comment on my page, I don't need your support. I'm not doing this for likes. Whoa. I'm not doing this for money. Whoa. Am, am I one of these leaders she's speaking of? I would like to think so. But I preach relationships, so I, 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 we don't hate women around here. We love them. What? What the? Many men live with their parents because the... Well, and that th- yeah, and that's also another thing. It's like a lot of guys live with their parents because look at how expensive it is to live right now. And if you're a younger guy trying to get into the professional world, dude, it takes a lot of time to get up there and, and make enough money to be able to afford your own place. A lot of you ladies get money from daddy and he just sends you money. And as a woman, like, that's just how it is. Reaction video number two. Uh, okay, that's number one. Let's get to number two. To the table. Because everyone a of- wants a leader... But and a lot of because a lot of men are cut off from the teat of the parents a lot sooner because like well we're guys that's just what it's supposed to be we're not supposed to be given money later on into our lives but a lot of you ladies will be given like an allowance or you know your your parents will get your first place or something like that like that's something that a lot of men we don't get that opportunity i didn't get that opportunity as soon as i got out of college i was like all right i'm on my own and then i made i made a an agreement with myself and i said i would rather be homeless than live with my mom i'd rather be homeless than live with my mom asking for perfection we're asking for literally the bare minimum could you try that the bare minimum and and you do need women by the way men actually need women because fact check women birth life into this Earth. But you need my seed to grow this life, you idiot. Stupid. Without my seed, there's nothing to grow, dummy. We raise. It's just having like having a bunch of soil and being like, why won't the soil grow? Because you need a seed. We we are more important in the equation. You just harvest the seed. We're the source of life. You. We raised all of you. Well, okay. 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 Let, let, let's take that. We raised you, we raised all of you. So if you raised all the men, wouldn't it be your fault that the men aren't good enough? (laughs) You raised us. You raised all of us, so it must be your fault, right? (laughs) She don't want to hear that, though. Men out here who want to disrespect and objectify us. You raised us, though. Look at your mom, look at your sister, look at any women that you have in your family. When you're disrespecting women, you're You're disrespecting disrespecting them, them, too. I love it. And guess what? Keep it up. There won't be any women left to raise you and wipe your tears and take care of you. Because we're going to be so fed up and angry with men. You want to know why men get used by women? Well, first of all, we were property for thousands of years. Because women are shallow? So. All right, I've had enough of this girl. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this poor little girl. She's got so much hate in her heart. You can just tell there's a lot of negativity flowing through her blood right now. Her veins are fueled with feminism and blue-haired ideologies. It's truly sad. But there's a lot of women that think this because they get burned by Chad, and then they think all men are like that. They get burned by Chad and think all men are bad. 
Write that one down, gents. I'm just coming up with the quotes. They get burned by Chad and think all men are bad. That's not the case. There's a lot of really good, hardworking men out there. But the thing is, they don't have time to go out there and play games with you girls. They don't have time to play games with immature women and women that aren't going to shoot straight to the point and be argumentative, combative, and masculine. We'd much rather go somewhere else with our time and go do something that we get enjoyment out of. It's wild to me. Loki, did you have fun today? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It makes you irresistible to men. Wait a minute. <laughs> makes you, my bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. I messed that up. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Go cop the four steps of style. It's the second ebook we put out. It's the holy grail of everything style related. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.